Hello Grecians and a very Merry Christmas. Welcome to this festive edition of Park Life as City take on Portsmouth on Boxing Day. Coming up on this week's show, Gary Caldwell and Archie Collins are on press duty and we talk about a very important cause that we are dedicating Monday's game to. But we start with a look back at our last fixture, which was away to Bolton. Exeter in that pink and black kit, conceding possession, dangerous against Bolton Wanderers. There's a bit of movement in the 18-yard box. Cross comes in and the header hits the bottom of the post. Again, good movement into the box for the Trotters. Twisting and turning. Will it fall? Left-footed shot in. They promised it early on, Bolton Wanderers, and they finished. It's Connor Brady, the 19-year-old. Could be recycled. In fact, it's given away, and Bolton have an opportunity to break here to make it two. It's Dion Charles twisting. And it's the left-hand side that's successful. Near post header just goes wide. How they miss? Exeter City. Yet again, it's that familiar left channel that they try and build through and from and cross and finish. He's deserved that, Dion Charles. Caprice with a, a good ball forward, an opportunity to score one. Three before the break here. Again, it's that left channel. And again, it's Dion Charles that's on the end of it. Twinkle toes and a shot that hits the post again. They... And there goes the full-time whistle and as comprehensive a 2-0 win as you're likely to see. It wasn't just the first team in action this week as the under-18s took on Oxford United in the third round of the FA Youth Cup right here at the park. And despite a 3-1 defeat, it was certainly a performance to be proud of. Here are the best bits. <laughs> Certainly been plenty of encounters between City and Portsmouth in the league and EFL Trophy in recent seasons. For this week's previous encounter, we head back to January 2017 when David Wheeler scored the only goal in a 1-0 win at Fratton Park. Good ball from Doyle out to Ender Stevens over on that far side, delivers a ball into the six-yard area. Connor Chapman's there, breaks well. Danny Rhodes gets his shot in, bundled clear. Still Pompey have it in the penalty area. Here's Cole Baker, right-hand side of the box, gets to the dead ball line, crosses. And a clever little flick there from Connor Chaplin. And it was just wide. Wow. Goal kick from Exeter City. Oh, Picked cool. up though with Ollie Watkins breaking into the Pompey Pinnacle. Shoots right footed and it's just wide. Yeah. And that was a glorious opportunity. And he should have got it on target. Half an hour play. Here's Baker on the right hand side. Opportunity to break forward perhaps. He's got Harley ahead of him. Shoots just wide. Did the keeper get a touch on it? He did. It's a corner to Pompey. Here's Ruben Reed, 10 yards inside Pompey territory, in the centre circle. He's got Harley available to his left. Ollie Watkins slightly forward, runs into Christian Burgess. Ball breaks to Wheeler, here's a chance, and it's a goal! The visitors take the lead in front of the Milton end, in front of their thousand fans, and it's David Wheeler, 12 minutes into the second half. It's Pompey nil, Exeter City 1. Pompey trailing, one goal to nil. Here's Doyle feeding Cal Naismith, 35 yards from goal. If only he could get it onto his left foot and shoot, which he does! And the keeper saves it down low to his right. That's an excellent save. It's all 
11 Pompey player, 10 Pompey blue shirts in the box. It breaks for Jamal Lowe. Down it comes for Ford to Burgess on the line and it's saved. Saved by the keeper right on the line. And there goes the final whistle. It's the final action of the afternoon. It is finished desperately disappointingly. Pompey nil, Exeter City 1. Now Christmas is all about cheer and celebrating, but sometimes it's also about giving. And that's what we'll be asking you to do on Boxing Day for a cause very close to this football club's heart. You may have seen that former Grecian Marcus Stewart and a member of the City Community Trust, Pete Evely, have sadly been diagnosed with motor neurone disease over the last few months. It's a disease that not many people know about, but more people than you think suffer with in this country. And sadly, there is yet no cure with a life expectancy of a few months to maximum of maybe five years. That's why on Boxing Day, we're dedicating our sellout game against Portsmouth to raising funds for charities that support people with motor neuro disease and most importantly, fund research for a cure. Both Marcus and Pete are always in our thoughts and they've got separate fundraisers, Marcus raising money for the Derby Rimmer Foundation with the support of the Motor Neuro Disease Association, while we're also raising money for Pete's fundraiser to support his family with future medical costs. We know times are tough, but if you can give anything at all, please support both Marcus and Peter in their fight against motor neurone disease. At the game on Boxing Day, we'll have over 20 volunteers with buckets, also selling merchandise such as wristbands and pin badges. So please, if you can help us with the fight against motor neurone disease, then please do so. Earlier this week, we spoke to Helen Mackey from the Motor Neurone Disease Association and also Marcus himself. You'll hear from them in just a moment. Move on, motor neurone disease. Um, is a disease which affects the motor neurons um, of our bodies and the motor neurons play a really important role. Um, they take the messages from our brain um, and the signals to our muscles that tell our arms and our bodies and our um, diaphragm to, to move. Um, motor neurone disease is when those motor neurons are shortened and affected and that means that those signals that are telling us to walk and pick things up um, don't reach those muscles. Those muscles then um, stiffen and then shorten and effect effectively wasten, which, which means that um, somebody with MND will experience a, uh, a loss of movement um, and that, in, that will include their, their hands, their, their feet, um, their voice, unfortunately, and eventually as well, um, their breathing, the muscles of breathing. So it's unbelievably cool. Yeah, the first week or so was a bit difficult, as you can imagine. But um, and telling people, you know, close family and friends, um, how to go about that was quite hard. Um, but in general, since that those times, I've been been all right. I've uh, yeah, I'm a pretty positive guy anyway. So. Um, I think that stuck with me through all my career. I've always been seeing things half, half full, not half empty, uh, and that's how I look at this, really. Um, so it's just getting on with my life like normal. Now it's not been a bad start in League One for one of our own, Archie Collins. On four goals already this season, he's on track to better his best ever goal scoring return. He was on press duty this week, and here's what he had to say ahead of the game. There's very little margin for error, I think. Um, I mean, every game is is to another level. I mean, if if you're a one percent off it, you get caught out. And I think when for all of us as a team, we will need to put in 110 percent to get over the line to get the three points because it's a massive group effort. Um, so very little margin for error and. Yeah, just going back to that chef for Wednesday as well. We worked so hard all game and and we did very well against them, but small margins. Manager Gary Caldwell has made a point of praising you guys, the supporters, for your excellent backing over the last few weeks. And with another sellout crowd here expected on Boxing Day, he can't wait to hear that noise from the bank once again. Here is his preview of the game. It has, yeah, and I think we want to close it on a high. I think you know, for the club to, to achieve promotion, it's obviously going to be be a year that will will stay in the 
you know, the memory of everyone in the club's history forever. Uh, and we want to finish off on a high and then also look forward to next year and, and build in even more success and, and pushing even, even further uh, as a football club in all aspects of the football club. So uh, I think the fans and supporters can enjoy this day. Hopefully we give them three points uh, to, to send them off uh, into the new year. And then, and then the main focus is on, you know, next year. That's all we've got time for on Park Life this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Whether you're watching this on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day or Boxing Day morning, I wish you or hope you've had a very good Christmas day and we can't wait to see you here at the park on Boxing Day. If you haven't been able to get a ticket for this sellout fixture, you can watch the game on iFollow. So there's no ticket news, there are none left. Anyway, we'll also have the game on our social media channels, on Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram. So if you're not with us, you can follow all the action on there or tune in on iFollow with a match pass, of course. For the last time in 2022, thank you for all your support on Park Life this year. And I've got to end it with something special. Up the sea!